Hey everyone, this is Dawn. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make this butterfly card using stamp sets from the core catalog. They're available all year. Okay, so the set that the main set that I'm going to use is called Florals and Flutters. I'm going to use the wreath and the butterfly image. I'm going to use some gold glitter paper and um, I'll show you the accessories in when I get to that point. Okay, so I'm going to start out with some black cardstock and I'm going to cut this at four by five and a quarter. And this will be my base that I will do some random stamping on. So I'm going to use some gold glitter powder and I'm going to random stamp this wreath and then heat emboss it. So I'm going to I'm hitting it with some anti-static powder first, and then I'm gonna stamp this wreath in a random pattern in Versamark ink. And keep in mind when you're doing several uh, stamped images with Versamark, you do have to work quickly so that it doesn't start to set up and it still stays sticky so that your embossing powder will stick to all of the stamped images. So I'm just stamping um, randomly on this panel and make sure when you do this, you stamp off the edge of your cardstock because that lends to the randomness of the pattern. And so I'm just stamping around and covering the whole panel. And then I'll sprinkle gold embossing powder on top of it. I have a coffee filter to catch the excess so that I can filter it back into the jar. So I'm just sprinkling it on and then I'll tap it off. I'm just looking at all of the images and making sure that I have them completely covered with embossing powder. And then there's a few random specks that shouldn't be in certain areas, so I'm knocking them off with a dry paintbrush. Okay, so now I'm gonna heat everything up with my heat tool and melt all of that embossing powder. So cool. I love this gold on the black cardstock. Looks awesome. Okay, so that's my background panel. So now I'm going to bring in some white cardstock and my black ink, and I'm going to stamp out several of these butterflies. And I'm going to be coloring them in with tri-blend markers, and then I'll cut them out with the coordinating thin cut. So I wasn't sure how many I would need, so I decided to stamp five butterflies, and we'll see where that gets us. Okay. Get everything cleaned up. All right, so I'm going to use citrus and orange uh, tri-blend markers and off screen, I've colored them all in and then cut them out with the coordinating thin cuts. So now I have all my butterflies. So this is a crystal flourish. It's a retired item from several years ago, but you could probably duplicate the um, effect using some gold glitter gems that are currently available. I just had some of these flourishes in my stash and decided to use that. So I have a piece of gold glitter paper cut at four and a quarter by five and a half. And I'm gonna put that down as a base to frame my uh, embossed panel. So this is a piece of craft foam. It's really thin craft foam and I've cut it just a little bit smaller than my black embossed base so that I can pop it on the gold glitter. So I'm just using white Tombow glue and I'm right down at the, the end of, I tend to have several bottles that just have a little bit left in them. So I'm finishing them up with this card. That's why I'm shaking the bottle a lot. So I'm gonna use the rest of what I have to put this card together. So the white Tombow tends to stick really well to the glitter paper, so and it works with the craft foam. Okay, so I'm gonna place that down. 
And then I have a border of gold glitter around my panel. So I'm going to set a block on it so it starts to dry flat. Now I'm going to take the butterflies and kind of add a little bend to the wings. So the little body is flat and then the wings I'm bending up so that they have some dimension and texture to them and they look like they're flying. So I'm going to use both glue dots and these uh, thin foam dots to attach them to my card front. And then I'm going to use this flourish down in the corner to make it look like they're flying a burst of butterflies. Okay, so this flourish is um, self-adhesive. So I'm going to go ahead and start and stick that down. And then my butterflies, I'm going to use a combination of the thin foam dots and um, glue dots so that they're at different levels. And then I can layer them and kind of have them uh, layered over each other. So that one's going to be with a glue dot. And then um, this particular butterfly, I didn't cut it really well with the thin cut. So I want to make sure that part of the wing is covered up by another one. So that's why I'm moving them around. It's not something that anyone else would notice, but you know how we're, we're our own worst critics on our stuff. So um, anyway, okay, so I have all of my butterflies layered and they look like they're bursting out of the corner there. So now I'm going to use the sentiment that says, hello, friend, and it's from the Garden Gnomes stamp set. And this is also in the core catalog. So I'm just going to stamp this out on the light side of lemonade and I'm leaving enough space so that I can dovetail one of the ends and I'm just trimming this exactly the height of the stamped image. So I'm just going to hand cut this and I realized that I didn't cut that trim it quite short enough so and to dovetail, you just snip in the middle and then you take each corner to meet that snip. And then I will attach this with Tombow tape runner. So all of these supplies are currently available in my online store. I'll make a list with links in the description below. I think it turned out pretty. I love those butterflies. I hope you'll give this a try. So I appreciate you watching my video today. If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button. I would really appreciate that. And thanks for watching.